<sighs> of course, it started when I made the hideous dragon sound. Of course, stupid fucking computer. God damn. All right, anyways, hello. It's, it's me. It's me and everything's a mess already. Kel surprise. No, um, it's 10.40 p.m. Cool. Okay. Greetings, pals. Um, I've just been writing in my journal. Would you like to see? It, this is the Sharpie I use to write in my journal. This is the journal. And what I just wrote, look at this. Look at this private information I'm just sharing with you guys. That's trust. That's love and that's trust. It, there's nothing. I just wrote, um the date, March 29th, 2016, and then Zane lyrics from that song. Hey, what's up? It's been a while. No, you not as now. You know, it's a catchy tune. Let me tell you. Anyways, no, um, focusing, Claire. I'm trying to focus. So this has a point. It does. I'm writing, talking, speaking to you today because I got this Anon and they had such a good point and it was a concern they had and they were looking for reassurance slash advice and I thought who am I to give that because I am the worst but I thought you know what maybe I can do this so I'm gonna try um because it's all about this Anon is concerned because they're afraid that they've written something that no one will read um they're afraid it doesn't have enough smut people will complain um yada 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 and first of all I'd like to start this out by saying that like when you write you should you have to go into writing in a certain mindset otherwise it's kind of gonna be like pointless and I know that there's really no way that what I'm gonna say to you is you're gonna take to heart like you have to believe it on your own there's nothing I can say to you that's gonna make you like boom I totally I'm gonna change now my mindset is this way because you said it Claire like that's just not going to happen the only thing I can just suggest is like thinking outside of the realm of normal what your norm would be if you are very sensitive to others opinions and you depend on that for validation cuz like we all write for validation. I mean, the reason you write is because you're you're putting pieces of yourself out there and you want people to see it and read it and praise you. You know, you want that, like, reflection on your mind, your talent, your, your personality. I mean, whatever the writing is connected to you, however that, you pr whatever you're projecting into it, whatever that represents to you, how you see it reflecting, that's what you want people to praise, right? And so, like, the whole aim for writing is in many regards a lot of people want validation like they want the hits and the kudos and um, comments and uh, wrecks and all that stuff they want like people they respect to like hey read this story and that's like the pinnacle and like that's human nature that's what we all want right but you kind of have to go beyond that and just kind of ask yourself what you want out of the fic because there are going to be people who criticize you and there are going to be people who talk shit about you and your writing and probably say all kinds of mean things that you'll never know and you know I mean it's they're gonna ju make judgments on you as a person as well from your writing that's just kind of all that is encompassed once you put your work out there that's the kind of the thrill of writing though that's like the accomplishment like okay first it's like you wrote something, right? You buckled down, you had a vision, and you just wrote it, and you just went for it. And then you finished it, and after all those backspacing and proofreading, and hey, does this sentence sound like shit? Do I sound like a pompous douchebag? Does this make any sense at all? Is this too much? Is this over dramatic? Is this not dramatic enough? Is, you know, like you're typing for hours, your eyes are crusted over, it's like 3 a.m., there are no lights on in the house, you're at your computer typing away, and you have a vision, and you're trying so hard to, like, put it into here what you see in here and it's so fucking angsty but you plowed through all those empty spaces and blank marks and like I don't know what to do next fucking accomplished everything you wanted to and overcame all that and then you put it on the internet and to me that is the big deal that's what I think of as accomplishment and success for myself when I first wrote it on the internet right it wasn't like oh I wonder what comments I'm gonna get really it was like I don't really let people in my life read what I'm writing. I don't really let pe even my loved ones really read my writing because it's personal, it's weird, I'm crazy, <laughs> it's a whole thing. I feel like it reflects a lot about pieces of me that are personal, you know, it's just like, 
it's like digging a hole in your brain and people saying, and I don't really like that. So like, I'm very weird about it. And so I'm okay with strangers. And so for me, the big accomplishment was just like, Hey, I actually put my writing out there for people to read. And like, I'm cool with it because they're strangers, but it's still like, this is just exposure. Right. And that's all I saw it as like knowing I put it on a public domain for people to read was like the big, Whoa whoa deal for me that was the moment it wasn't really even thinking past like what how people are going to respond to it necessarily it was just like i put it out there for people to read oh my god <laughs> like that was the thing and that's kind of how you have to think about it because like you're putting this out there for you at the end of the day you have your thoughts right and like you have to be proud of what you're writing you have to think back and and feel like when you wrote it was like you just put everything that you can't really encapsulate through your mouth, but you put all those things that linger in like your eyes and your brain and your mouth and your chest and your back and your stomach, you know, all of these things that are lingering in your body and these visions and all these little particles and things fused together. You're just like pouring that from your fingers into the laptop and into people's brains and that's what you're doing and that's what you want to do and you want to feel like those little chunky bits inside yourself that don't click together and don't make sense and are like, oh, ugh. You want to feel like that's been like oozed out into peaceful, like calmness. Those click together suddenly and the world is great because you did this thing where you just wrote what you wanted and you did it right and it felt good and you're proud. That's what matters. Like the sentence that you finally phrased just right when you zoned out and just kind of went with this vision and you look back and read it and you're like, that's exactly what I wanted to say. How did I do that? It's like, you don't even think you just like let it pour. And that's what is important not the kudos and all that shit like I mean it's gonna get to you like it's gonna be a high when people are gonna praise you message you tell you all kinds of great compliments things that you feel like you don't deserve or you do I don't know uh, like it's all a high the the fic racks and the people that you really like telling you that you're a great writer and people coming to you and all of it is gonna be like a high but it doesn't last you know, like, you'll get all that. If that's your aim, like, you're like, I just want to be successful. I want to be, like, in the top 10 searches on AO3. If that's what you want, like, you can totally search for that. And that's normal human nature to want that. But, like, at the end of the day, once the buzz wears off of people being like, hey, you're great, you're still going to have your own opinion on yourself. And that's what you have to focus on. You have to find that energy center of you. And that's what you're writing for. You. The praise is obviously something you want. It's a validation we all seek, but it's not constant. It is not everlasting. It is a moment of a high that goes back down. You will still probably doubt your writing. Like, you know, I've gotten a lot of praise and I fucking hate my writing. I'm so angsty and self-conscious about my writing. Each chapter of the actor I put out, I'm like, that's it. They're all going to hate me. I'm a piece of shit and I have no talent. Everyone's disappointed and they're talking shit as we speak. I'm fine with that. <laughs> like, I'm cool with that mentality because it means I'm going to work harder to get, like, to keep trying to be a better writer and therefore I'm not going to become stagnant and shitty. I'm just going to try to be better and see what happens. And I want that. I want to actively keep trying, you know. So I'm cool with that mentality. I'm cool with my self-depreciating angstiness, mostly. Because I feel like I strive for something, so I have goals. I'm definitely not content. Um, but, like, the negative stuff, that is also fleeting. Even if it, like, embeds in your brain because that's, like, a, someone else voiced your insecurity. It's still, at the end of the day, you're still going to be proud of what you wrote. Don't let that shit phase you. It's going to have to just ooze off you, bounce off your skin. It's just whatever because you matter. It's you and your writing, a personal experience, and it's got to be everlasting for you. So who gives a fuck if people don't read it or who gives a fuck if people don't like it? You don't want the people who are only interested in hardcore boning, the ones who just want to read about fingers and asses and uh, slobber and dicks and all that. Like, you don't want to read or you don't want those people to read your fic. If you want a good critique or if you want someone to love it, you don't want those people to read it if you're not writing smut because they are not useful to you. Like, if you're a fluff writer, you don't want angsty people coming in because they don't matter to you. That's not your target audience. So if people don't like it, it's because they're not for you. That's not your match. You're not going to please everyone and you don't want to because that would mean you're generic and bland. You want to go for what you love, write what you want to write, and the people who can bond with you and understand you and have your vibe, your crowd, your crew, 
they'll come for you and they'll appreciate you and you will be proud of yourself at the end of the day that's all that matters at the end of the day